Hey, this is Daryl as a service. Moments ago, uh, Dan and I were recording or live streaming the 365 Message Center, and um, we did notice some changes to um, to our capabilities within Teams. We now have a, a meeting notes tab that is created when we start a meeting. Now, during the show, we briefly explored the the tab itself um, and we could see that it was based on the the wiki um, tab that we've seen since uh, Microsoft Teams went GA so just thought I'd do a deeper dive into this just do a quick comparison between the the wiki and the meeting notes tab and talk about how that sort of is framed with uh, for OneNote for making uh, notes so uh, let's uh, first of all look at the the tab itself uh, now when I started a meeting um, I saw the meeting notes tab appear and it had like a circle around it or rather a little tag to say this is this is new purple little tag um, that of course has gone away now that I've used it. Uh, it I don't remember it being there until I started a meeting but once I did the tab was added for me now uh, if we click into meeting notes um, you'll see I haven't really been too imaginative in um, what I wrote in there uh, but it, it does create a page to begin with um, it is a meeting in the general tab. I guess we could give that a different name. Um, I did do a meet now meeting, um, so I didn't give it any subject. It was just part of a conversation thread there already. I would say that if I started a scheduled meeting, and uh, we won't try this now, we almost feel like we want to do that, but I would say that it's going to pick up the, the, um, the subject of the meeting and name the page after that, that meeting itself. Um, you can see I can add sections, um, so this is a section header right here, and then our meeting notes themselves. And as I highlight those notes, um, you can see just some, some simple formatting that we can do within posting meetings within Microsoft Teams. Um, also inserting links to content, doing a quote, formatting the paragraph to some basic you know, headings and levels, and also um, adding a... Um, attaching a, a picture whether it be from something already in teams that's been uploaded my OneDrive or upload from a computer so yeah we we, uh, we get that now when I saw this I recognized the the format and thought oh, I've seen this before this feels like the wiki um, but there was something that stuck in my mind I know it just almost felt like there's something um, different about this to the wiki itself if we go into the meeting where I, I actually uh, launched this, um, it was in this thread, where are we, episode 52. Um, we were in the meeting, and I'll just rejoin it. I know that um, Dan's uh, long gone now, but we'll just start up a meet now like we did before. Um, go into meet now. Alrighty. Full screen meeting, and this is what alerted me to it, was there was this meeting notes tab, and I saw that and thought, uh, that, that looks like it's more than just uh, my OneNote. What I thought when I saw meeting notes was, had I written a tab there and connected um, the, the OneNote um, notebook that I had and, and just named it meeting notes? I couldn't remember. Um, so when I clicked on this, I could see it clearly it is the... Uh, the um, a new feature um, which is based on wiki now you'll notice here just I, I pointed this out in the show but our, our formatting ta um, bits and pieces we do have some basic formatting there um, but we can't attach a picture um, within this view of the notes or a link or um, inserting a, a table so uh, I think like at a very basic level, I mean, probably we could just copy and paste a link in there, but we can't hyperlink text is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, now, if you are in the meeting, and remember, this is just, just your view uh, while you're in the meeting. You can see uh, just that side panel. It's, it's the same size as any conversation that we might be tapping away into the meeting. Um, but that meeting notes, um, you can still be in the meeting and just click view notes tab. Um, and you'll see that the meeting is still up here in the top right hand, top left hand corner. Um, so you're not going out of the meeting, but you can get your full access to um, the other uh, was it insert hyperlink quote um, paragraph heading format etc. These these last few buttons here. Now, uh, why does this feel like it's familiar but different? So it is using the wiki functionality. We know that wiki is using. 
the um, a SharePoint list in the background, so it, that's how it's it's presenting and, and keeping its information. Um, and I won't try and you know uh, open that up and, and make you wait as I click around. Um, but how does it differ to the uh, a wiki tab? So I, I've been in the habit of deleting the wiki tab whenever I create a team because I haven't found it super useful. Um, but I might give it another go. So I did create recreate it, and I'll show you just in comparison. This wiki tab does have something different. So we created a wiki tab. Uh, it has created a new page, so I just called the page. Oh, there it is. Um, and you'll notice um, as I hover over one of these notes, this is our section header and our, our note. But I have a show section conversation. Here's the difference. That as a wiki, I can have a conversation about a section. So let's start that start that conversation. This is going to create a new conversation thread. Um, you've got the link through to the section itself, and um, let's uh, we are talking about this section note. Right, and this is something that we can't do yet in OneNote. Have conversations. Um, we could say um, also from here Daniel, so I could at mention Dan and, and draw his attention to uh, this is a note I can at mention you. So I know that these sort of benefits are, are you know, over and above what we can do with uh, OneNote, and OneNote has its strengths as well. Um, but it's certainly been able to at mention Dan and, and talk about that note is quite useful. So this is the wiki, that, that's what I see as the main difference between that and meeting notes. Now why don't we have this ability to discuss a section in meeting notes itself? Let's think this through. If it's a wiki, it's a standalone um, place for having discussions. Sweet, he's uh, playing along. <laughs> um, and I'll tell him what I'm doing later, he doesn't know I'm recording. Um, the, it's a standalone place where I can have notes, I can have discussions about notes. Um, you could use it, I guess, as a knowledge base, um, all sorts of things. Uh, I haven't really talked to many people who use Wiki. But um, if we go over to our meeting notes example, that's happening within a conversation thread already because it's attached to a meeting. So there's no need to have a discussion about specific notes um, by clicking over here and opening up a... Uh, a conversation about that specific note. However, we might still want to do this. Click, get a link, go over to our, whoops, we'll copy and paste that, go into our conversations, we're back into our meeting, and, and in the, uh, the very same thread that we want to talk about, um, I'd like to talk about this note later. And, and paste. Boom. Um, so that way we can call attention to a specific note and when we click on that it's going to open up the meeting notes um, tab and I know I guess if we had more notes there then it would, would feel like we're jumping to that note itself rather than just the the page um, yeah looks like from this uh, table of contents um, that we can also copy links to various things and, and change the order. So maybe I'll give this another go. I mean, it might still be useful. I've been a big fan of OneNote for years simply because I can ink and draw and paste whatever I want on a page, and that's why the wiki felt a little weaky. <laughs> weak. And that was a weak joke. Um, but it, that's why I was, I was favouring OneNote over, over the wiki. But I can see this being useful in terms of making notes um, that are okay, almost like a more ordered conversation or more ordered chat. Our chat is just our thread and our meeting notes in a wiki style. Um, we can reference things and, I don't know, potentially uh, draw people's attention to specific um, areas. We're going to see a lot of crossover um, as we do with a lot of different products uh, across the Microsoft suite. But look, the message for me these days is, yeah, there's a lot of choice. Don't worry, you don't have to know it all. Try something, see if it works for your team. If it's good, 
use it. I had wondered whether the wiki was going away. Um, now I, I really, I think it's going to be sticking around. If it's if it's showing up as a, a meeting notes capability, then it's it's probably here to stay. So um, you you could take my recommendation. Start start working with the wiki and with me, meeting notes. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a, a feature that's uh, that's going away. Let me know if this is useful. Uh, say something in the comments there and um, we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.